Well, this is my free camp spot for tonight. I am in Flagler, Colorado. Just uh, off of Highway Interstate 70. I'm about 200, no, I'm about two hours away from Colorado Springs in Denver. I'm not going into Denver. I'm probably going to stay here tonight for sure, and uh, I may stay another day and just relax and get some work done. This is a reservoir. It's pretty low. On camps, freecampsites.net it mentions that it's dry, and it practically is, but there is some water over there. I think it's because it rained a little last night and the night before. And if you look at that sky, we're probably going to have rain tonight as well. And looking at the weather predictions, it's supposed to rain off and on tomorrow and the next three days. So uh, we'll see. There aren't really any amenities here. There's no water. I mean, you got the picnic table and the sh covered shelter. But it does have a vault toilet and a dumpster for trash. So that's pretty nice. Let's see if I can zoom in here. That's the vault toilet, and right in front there is the dumpster. It's a private road. I mean, it's a single real dirt road going in. It's a gravel road coming in. It's about three miles worth of gravel, but the road isn't that bad. So, here I am at Flagler, a friendly, caring, historical community founded in 1888. Elevation's 49.49. And lo and behold, reason I stopped is because they got this. That's pretty neat. Had to stop and take a look. It becomes a little more real. Dedicated to the loving memory of those who lost their lives on December, September 15th, 1951, Flagler Day Air Show Tragedy. A little wood carving. Right out of a tree stump. Awesome. So, I'm leaving Flagler campsite and driving on a back road. And lo and behold, what do I spot? This pink Cadillac. Right off the, and it's between me and Interstate Highway 70. Don't see what it goes to or anything. There's no advertisement, just sitting there. And now I know why we have the pink Cadillac. Advertise the diner. After they take the highway. Yep, it's the I-70 diner. Pretty neat. All right. This is my camping spot for tonight, another freebie. I am in Carvel, near Carvel. I'm near southeast Carvel on Carvel Lake. I could be near the lake, but I chose not to because when I got here, the wind was fierce. That's the outhouse. It's a vault toilet. It's pretty nice, in good condition. Got great views. Views are great. Let me walk you over here to where I was going to go until the wind whipped up. Like I said, I was going to camp here, park my van right up in this area, and have and enjoy this view. But man, oh man, the wind. And it's died down. It was rough. That lake was white capping. But it's a great view. And then two forest rangers came by. They came and asked how I was doing, and then they uh, wanted to make sure I wasn't going to go fishing. And I said no, and they said good, because all the fish in that lake are pretty much dead. They're out there now getting samples. Uh, they don't they said the oxygen levels are really low, and they think there's an algae bloom. So he said the fish are dead or dying. So uh, 
I'm not going to be fishing, which is I wasn't planning on doing it anyhow. Just spending the night. And then tomorrow I'm going into Colorado Springs. You can hear that wind. Like I say, I got some great views. And frugal. Driving on the back side of a dam. Does that remind you of the state park somewhere that you drove across? I don't think this one's gonna break. The water's not high enough. Thank you. 